After about 80 hours of working, we finally have a finished, polished animation of about 40 whole seconds. Uh, needless to say, animation requires a lot of input time for a short length of output. Uh, at the studio where I used to work, uh, we were producing our first feature film, and the animators had a quota of five to six seconds per week for main characters. And they were the ones always working overtime just to achieve five to six seconds. Man, that still blows my mind. But now that it's done, I'm pretty happy with the result. And as you can see, I went ahead and added the falling cookie animation, which is literally two keyframes on an initial cookie. Then that cookie is duplicated around, offsetting the keyframes with each duplication. So now there's only one thing standing in the way of our vision fully realized, and that's the rendering and compositing phase, often referred to as post-production. So the final animation is handed over to a compositor who typically sets up lighting, rendering, and of course the composition. The lighting for Piero is going to be very simple, and Cycles is the main reason for its simplicity. Due to the engine's global illumination capabilities, I don't have to go nuts and add a bunch of lights to get an appealing setup. Instead, I'll use one lamp for the sun and an equal rectangular environment map as a world fill light and also source for reflections. Once the lighting looks good, I need to adjust my render settings appropriately. And here, a good compositor takes their time when setting up the render of the 3D elements so that they only have to render it once. This doesn't mean the project isn't subject to change, but it's always much faster to tweak a render in a composition than it is to re-render the 3D elements. So often this means the compositor breaks down the scene into many passes and render layers so that the comp can be micro art directed into the final, final product. For Piero, I'm in a crunch to reach a deadline, and I need to be exceedingly efficient with my render times. Therefore, I'll be consolidating my render passes into a single render layer to save time. Then I'll click render and wait for many hours. Then once the frames are finished rendering, I can begin the composition. With Blender's compositor, we can easily tweak and polish the final result to our heart's content. Sound good? I say let's do it. 